Double R. I've got Tony here to give us a run through of the another snorkel range. Tell us what it is, Tony. Hey guys, um, we've got a trailer mounted snorkel MHP 13 AT. So the AT is articulated and telescopic. And basically this unit is a, a really compact trailer mounted cherry picker. Um, under 11 metre ruling, so no licence required to operate. So you don't need a licence to operate this one Don't need time. a licence at all to operate this. Really common size for hire companies to hire out. Um, contractors, tradesmen, painters, sign guys. Versatile machine. A couple of the benefits. Yeah, tell me about some of the benefits of it, Tony. All right. Well, compared to a lot of the um, a lot of the machines that come over here into Australian market are a European design, so they run normally a torsion bar suspension setup, which limits the speed that the the trailer can be towed at. These, as you can see, are leaf sprung um, on a solid axle, so they're a nice, well built, um, really solid build. Mild steel, heavy thickness, can be repaired if they're bent or anything like that, where other machines with a high tensile steel, you need to replace components in, within the frame itself. Um, as I said, it's got a telescopic boom section, which allows you to poke into awkward scenarios within buildings and things like that. The basket itself has basket rotation both sides. The step here folds down to help guys get in and out, and it's got another different um, part of this machine. It's got three point access and, and exit on the basket. So it actually has the biggest basket size within this class for two big guys. So Dan would quite easily fit into this machine. So 215 kilos it says it takes Tony. I'll take a fair chunk of that. I'll take 145 of it, but you and I would both fit in that machine quite easy. Yes. And and basically operator stands on the side. A lot of the other machines, the, um, the control panel's in the centre of the machine, so it, he obviously takes up majority of the basket while he's operating, so it's a good design. Very easy um, access and egress, as I said. Now, another feature of this machine is the self-leveling outriggers that are, have the poly protectors on your um, hydraulic tubing. So that'll prevent any damage from tree guys dropping stuff on them. Yeah, it's it. so that'll, that'll protect the cylinder, protect the shafts of the rods and, uh, and keep that going very well so there's no, no issues there later on in the future. Uh, larger slew ring in class as well. So basically it's a geared slew ring. It doesn't run a worm drive like some of their competitors. So obviously you don't get as much slop, slop and play over time as the machine wears. So, that actually has the one of the most stable platform setups on trailer mounted cherry pickers in the market at the moment. And that's about a 500 or 550 mil slew ring by the look of it. It's quite a large slew ring there. Mate, you do a 10 year recertification on this machine and not have to replace that slew ring generally. So that's a pretty good thing. Oh, it's good and that sets you up for the next five years of your machine as well. So it's a, a good cost saving initiative later on down the track for anyone that buys it. That's right, yeah. Um, I'll show you on this side guys, the, the setup with the self-leveling outriggers really easy setup basically once the machine is powered up to set this machine up it's as simple as when it's folded up you basically just flick this switch here to the outriggers little symbol there for the outriggers turn the machine on which I won't do now because of the noise but basically just hit this one button here and all four outriggers will descend at the same time once they take weight on the pressure, pressure switch at the, at the back of the cylinder, these lights will light up to say that the cylinder's taken weight. The machine will then find its own axis both ways, and once it settles on a, on a level axis, that light there will, will light up and tell you that it's in lift enable mode. So it'll literally tell you that the machine is level and ready to operate. That's a great safety feature that tells you that because there's no guessing, there's no second guessing at all. You're, you know you're right and ready to go. Yeah, basically, mate. No, it, it does take a while to set up machines on a on a just a bubble indicator. It can be a bit painful and a bit tricky sometimes. Um, this machine also runs a, a power lead up to platform that you can put a a um, switch and plug up up the top, so you can run 20 uh, 250 volt power to the to the machine up top. Basically, by plugging in a lead at the bottom of the machine once it's set up. Um, poly UV protected plastic so they handle the sun they don't fade um, they do handle really good hits as well same thing with tree guys and that you drop stuff on these they tend to bounce off instead of cracking um, so very rarely need to replace the, 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 the plastics on it and the same with the guards 
They're a pretty easy, um, basic urethane plastic that handles handles the UV. Um, that's pretty much it with this machine, Dan. Excellent, Tony. Thank you for taking us through that. For all your EWP or lifting needs, come and see the team at Double R.